Camilla Cabello. The last time I talked about this jalapeno bitch was last year when she made that comment at the Grammys when she said this land was built by dreamers. A complete and utter slap in the face to our ancestors. And I didn't talk about her ever again. But now we're talking about her again. And it's not even talk about her mediocre music. It's to talk about these posts that have appeared from a Tumblr account she used to have when she was like 15 years of age. And she pretty much confirmed why there will never, ever, ever, ever be a black and brown alliance. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article. In which it says, singer Camila Cabello is apologizing to fans for using racist language on social media in the past. The Grammy-nominated musician posted an extensive apology note to Twitter on Wednesday that she says she's sorry and deeply ashamed of using offensive and hurtful words on social media as a teen. Cabello says she's grown up since then and realizes and understands the impact of her words. When I was younger, I used language that I deeply ashamed of and will regret forever. Now, mind you, like I said, she was about 15 years of age. She's 22 now. That's, uh, you know, not even a whole decade ago. She was using that type of language at 15 years of age. She knew what she was talking about at 15. And people try to say, oh, they're just kids. They don't know what they're talking about. Bullshit. This is a learned behavior, so I wonder what her home life was like. She got it from somewhere. She said, I was uneducated and ignorant, and once I became aware of the history and the weight and the true meaning behind this horrible and hurtful language, I was deeply embarrassed I ever used it. I'm 22 now. She continued, I'm an adult, and I've grown, and I'm and learned, and I'm conscious and aware of the history and the pain it carries in a way it wasn't before. These mistakes don't represent the person I am or the person I've ever been. I only stand and have ever stood for love and inclusivity, inclusivity, and my heart has never, ever been, ever then, even then, had an ounce of hate of divisiveness. The former Fifth Harmony singer was accused of using racial remarks and now deleted Tumblr accounts from seven years ago. The post resurfaced this week when social media users uploaded screenshots of Cabello's old and offensive words, forcing the the performer to issue an apology again. Like I've always said, or like many of us have always said, the Internet is undefeated. I think only one person defeated the internet and made them crash. And that's when Michael Jackson passed away back in 2009. Cause I remember nobody could do anything on any website. Like and you couldn't send no tweet. You couldn't Google anything. You couldn't post anything on Facebook, on Instagram. None of that. When that happened, as much as I wish I could, I can't go back in time and change things I said in the past, but once you know better, you do better. And that's all I can do. Cabello. I'm not going to read about, that part right here but what i'm gonna do right quick is i'm gonna pause this video because i want to find the post that she's that she um made even if i if even if i don't post them up on the screen i want to read them because i actually saw them yesterday and i want you to hear or see what she said okay so here's one post right here now you probably can't see it but that's a picture of what's supposed to be piglet from winnie the pooh but it's colored brown with an afro and it was labeled niglet that was from her her social media her tumblr post now i don't know if i'll be able to find it but i'll just tell you about it right now she even made a a post about the whole chris brown and rihanna situation that happened back in the day where she was making a joke about Rihanna in the situation she was in and now I will say this Rihanna even admitted herself that she was the one that started the whole thing but here's the thing this chick made a joke out of a domestic situation now these are some of the same women out here that love to advocate of violence against women but she's the same one that made a joke about a quote unquote violence against a woman whose ass she probably kissed while she's in this industry and that's the kind of post that she was making like i said the internet is undefeated always has been and always will be except for that one time with michael jackson 
But I just knew something was off about this chick. Like, when she made that comment at the Grammys, I said, I never heard of this chick before. I never listened to any of her music. I didn't know she was in that group Fifth Harmony. But why am I even surprised? Like I said, that black and brown unity does not exist. As hard as many people want it to, it just doesn't. Can you imagine if we could read minds like we were Professor X on X-Men, all the shit we would hear about us? But yeah, I'm glad they exposed this little cockroach. And hopefully, you know, I don't know if it'll put a stain on her career or not, but I'm glad that she's been exposed and people can do, um, look at her with the side eye and decide that how they want to deal with this accordingly. But y'all let me know what you think and I'll talk to you in the next one.